Hello, welcome to Occupy the Land, OccupyTheLand.org. What we're going to be doing today is we have the retaining check dams of the retaining the water as it flows across the land. And we had enough rain that it confirmed what we thought we needed to do. Now right here, you'll see this is the height that we need to be able to keep the water retained to so that it floods the, all the augering holes that we have in this plain back here. Now it's pretty big. It's going to be got at least six acres or so that we want to have the soil be penetrated with the water and the clay just kind of saturates and it sucks it up like a sponge. So what we're doing now, we had like some extra cement that we had and doing building into the floor or something. Donna would just come over here and kind of spread it out and dump it on this check dam. But now we need to do it for real. Now, we had a fire where we had some stuff stored in uh, May. And we'll go over that and what was lost and replaced and how and why at a later time. Later time. But positive waves, positive waves. So what happened is we had basalt rope. Now basalt is stone. It's like fiberglass, but instead of glass, they use basalt rock. And it makes this mesh too. Now this is fiberglass mesh. The fire uh, didn't damage the basalt too much, but it did melt it in some areas. I'm like, whoa, man, it must have got hot. Well, because we weren't here when it happened. Now the um, uh, fiberglass mesh, it kind of destroyed its integrity. And I'm going, Okay, well, there's that. Now, over there, you'll see one of the rolls that we unrolled, see how much good there is, and so on. What I was going to do is just kind of cover this check dam with the mesh and then see what we could. But it was such bad condition that we're just going to chop it up and put it in with the mixer with the Portland cement and the gravel and then just put it on. Now, we've done that before with this. Now, I want to show you up close. This right here is in the sun. <laughs> this right here is basalt fibers. And when they are cut about two inches long, they turn into angel hair. It's just really, really thin. You can barely see it. But when you use it in a stucco mix and put it on, it makes it really strong and it and it holds. It's like a you know, thick paste mud it does. This stuff works great. I haven't done it for a couple of years when we were first testing this. So we're going to go ahead and test that today too. But I wanted to try it with the fiberglass mesh just chopped up, thrown in there, put it on. It's a check down. You know, it's good to experiment over here because we're getting to the point where we're going to have to start um, stuccoing the dome that we're building over by the bus and I wanted to go ahead and do some testing here and this is a good thing to test on because we need to uh, put stucco on it for permanence anyway make a nice curb maybe some seating areas and so on it'll be nice so we're going to work on that today and whatever we learn we'll share with you so here we go Well, we just finished putting the um, stucco coating on the earth bags, the hybrid, hyper adobe bags that is for this check dam. Now, we this is one of the first projects that we did early on using these bags just to see if um, it was going to hold the water the way we wanted 
and it worked and everything and it did so we go all right we finally had a rain so now we'll coat it with stucco now what we did was with just portland cement and the fine sand that we have here and we put in basalt fibers and some fiberglass extra we had just cut it up threw it in there and i really i've done that before and it makes it go on like cob like mud with straw and it just stays up there it doesn't fall doesn't run uh, even when you got it thin and it, it does a really good job so this is kind of a scratch coat we just you know put it on didn't try and smooth it too much because we're going to put another coat on and uh, we'll leave the stuff out here but i wanted to let this dry we'll keep it kind of damp we'll hose it down one more time and i wanted to see if it cracks because this is an experiment for doing the domes too with our material here and uh we just put it on there now when we do the final coat which is what we'll be doing for the dome we're going to put it over with a finer sand and kind of smooth it out and see how how it holds up so now we're just going to let it dry and i want to see if it cracks because it has it's not a real thick coat it's a little bit over a quarter inch probably and uh the the seams between the hyperdobe bags you know it gets quite a bit more you just slap it in there and smooth it and then put it over it so it may be up to an inch in some places there at the thickest part so we want to see how it holds up so we're cleaning up now getting ready for a show say goodbye donna Bye. peace hello welcome to occupy the land occupy the land.org um what we've been doing is just kind of showing you highlights of a lot of things that we've been doing and building and crafting of the land because we were really busy in the beginning, just didn't have time for that, that video thing. So we would give you a little bit, have an overview, and then uh, when we were actually doing the hyperlapse or doing construction, we'd give you a, a little bit. But the problem has been the temperature. Here in Arizona, ambient temperature in the shade underneath of everything uh, under the vehicles under you know the tarp under the shade is still 110 degrees and these phones and cameras and so on don't like it so we've done our best to try and give you some stuff but today we woke up man it was in low 60s at night now it'll get up to almost 90 or something today but it's it's not oh my god hot so now we'll be able to start using our other cameras and equipment and microphones and all of that and we'll start practicing with that today so we'll show you what's up now we went and got a bunch of supplies yesterday and you know groceries and so on but every couple of weeks we go and we get supplies so that we can be busy for the next couple of weeks because we really try not to go into town you know more than a, you know every week or so we wind up going more than we probably should but um yesterday we had to go to the dump which was kind of cool i'll show you that in a future video when it's not so freaking hot and um you'll see that out here they call them a transfer station and it's pretty clean and well organized and mechanized and one guy takes your 10 bucks or whatever and you go take care of business which donna has been doing this is the first time that i actually went and uh i was impressed you know this is you, know, you got it going on now it's not really close by but it's on the way for us going you know to uh big box stores and so on now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unloading a lot of the supplies that we got here show you some of the other projects that we're doing but the big thing today is we're going to put a dress coat final coat on the check dam and since we kind of got a beat on what we're doing with the uh, cement, the mortar, the however we mix it along with the basalt fibers and so on, we're going to go ahead and give you a little bit more close up and show you what we're doing because we've done it before. And I think uh, confirmation on this check dam is kind of probably what the outside of this dome over here once we put that on top of the uh, earth bag walls. Now, there's some, I'll show you some of the other equipment we got. Yeah, we got a tire that we got to, uh, yeah, Donna's getting that out now. We got a tire that we got to put on the ATV over there. We just had an old one, and we replaced one of them. And um, uh, then we got an identical one to go in. Now it'll be match set, and it won't be all messed up. And I would get it and carry it over there for 
But Donna's showing off. She wants to do it. Heck, she could probably put it on, you know. Maybe I'll let her do that. I keep talking. So what we're going to do is kind of give you a little bits and pieces of what we're going to be doing today. And a lot of it is just prepper. We finally got all of our wiring in, our outlets, uh, different things that we need to put on the next layer of the Hyper Adobe Earth Bags and building the wall before we put the dome on. Well, when that dome goes on, of course, we're going to need the tractor for that. And we used our concrete mixer to do the uh, concrete covering over the Hyper Adobe uh, bags that were there for the check dam. We're holding back the water. Well, we have a bunch of those. We have probably... One, two, three, four, five, five or six of these that we can do to make that a lot better, easier, hold it back, give us a lot more water that will soak into the ground. But we needed to have this first test one. This is the, the biggest one, the longest one that we did initially. So I'm really happy with it. It's not cracking. It's not doing, I mean, it's working pretty well. Now, I could leave it the way it is now, but I, it's a good experiment for us doing different mixes and kind of showing you what we're doing and probably what the outside of the masonry on the dome is going to look like. So we're going to do that. Now, we may not tent it or anything, you know, right now, but um, we'll, we'll show you what's up. Now, one of the other things I'll show you here real quick is our uh, camera setup. Well, you know, I need to swip, switch the phone around. Hold on. Now, we have different grades of sand here from different parts of the desert. Now, this down here, this came from the bottom of the main river channel. And we brought a bunch over here for this. Now, what I'm just, you know, we have different grades, you know, different opening sizes of the expanded metal and so on. But one thing that we're doing is for the mortar, and we want to take out... And you can just look inside there how fast it goes through and it separates. We don't need that much. Now this is what the trommel is for. We're going to be doing a trommel that will rotate and it'll separate all this in the different buckets and these wagons that we have and so on for when we're you know doing mass production. But we wanted to make sure. Now let me show you this. See, there's not that much dirt in it. It's just really fine sand. And that's what's going to give us a real smooth coating, you know, doing the mortar. And we're going to go and test it over on the uh, check dam. So you can see, that's fine. There's not a lot of, you know, silt or clay in there. It's just sand. And it separates pretty quickly. We'll show you. This sand, ooh, big rock. This sand is going to make really fine mortar. So we're going to go ahead and try that. And we'll show you what's up. Okay, now this is the sixth shovel full. I'm going to put it in this bucket. So we're going to go six to one. We'll do the same with the um, Portland. That. And then I'm going to go ahead and take scissors and chop this into about two inch lengths. And then we'll take them uh, after it's mixed. I'll go ahead and try and break it apart with the fibers, and you'll see just how fine they are. And, uh, and we'll show you that. Fibers in it, it'll hang. Here, let me show you. Follow me. 
Look over here to the right. See? And you pull it apart and you see all those little fibers. This stuff we can put it, go ahead and go on this side. I can just put it and it stays right up. You smooth it and it doesn't drop. That's why I like lurking with this stuff. I like that finish. We could trail it smooth, but I like this. And it's easy and it's fast.